everybody. Welcome to my channel, All Stitched Up. I am Beth, and today is Truth Tuesday. Um, I, I'm trying to think. I've been kind of struggling, I feel like, for ideas to kind of keep going. Every once in a while, something hits me, and I really, really like it. Um, but I'm going to do a couple things. One, I want to start this video out. I hope you guys know, like, I started my channel originally as um, just like a Stitch Fix review channel, and it's kind of, you know... Truth Tuesdays have kind of developed and I really do enjoy doing them. So my next Truth Tuesday is going to be a Truth Tuesday Q&A. I want you guys to ask any and every question that you want to. I'm pretty much an open book. I don't mind answering questions for you guys. Um, if you want to, you can leave the question down below in the comments. You can also email me. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, feel free to direct message me there. Um, but next week, I will answer all of the questions that you guys list down below. Um, I think it could be really fun. So I'm curious what you guys will ask me. So ask lots and lots of questions. <laughs> And this today, um, my friend Krista did a really fun video. It's just like a list of questions. I think she said it was 30 questions. Yes, 30 questions. So I am going to go ahead and just go through the questions. And yeah, hope you guys like it. It seems like it's going to be fun. I like doing stuff like this, especially when I don't have any original ideas of my own. So thank you very much, Krista. <laughs> So, first question. Um, what is the last movie you saw that made you cry? I'm kind of a baby. I cry at a lot of movies. Last movie I saw that made me cry. Man, that's a tough one. <sighs> I'm going to have to think about that one. I might have to come back to that or just revisit it at another time. But literally, I cry at almost every movie. Doesn't even matter. Um, what is your favorite thing to do when you have a couple hours to yourself? Go to Target, go to Dutch Brothers, and that's really about it. <laughs> um, if I had more time to myself, I'd probably watch some Netflix. Um, today I went to the gym because I'm starting my jar. If you guys watched one of my other Truth Tuesdays, I showed the jar with the beads, moving the beads from the pounds you want to lose to the pounds you've lost. So yeah, I weighed myself the other day, and boy, let me tell you, that scale gave me a number that I did not want to see. So I went to the gym today. I ran on the treadmill. I'm going to do yoga here in just a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start moving some beads and I'll keep you guys updated on that too. I'll, maybe I'll do a Truth Tuesday accountability video. Um, what is your favorite breakfast food? I don't really eat breakfast very often. Um, but I guess, okay, I'll pick two. Um, I really like bagel sandwiches. So like bagel, jalapeno cream cheese with like an egg and some ham. And I really like biscuits and gravy. It's my jam. Um, what are the top three home repairs you'd like to see done if money was no object? <laughs> okay, that's easy. Finish my basement. Um, we have a big, big basement that's unfinished, and I would love to utilize that space. Um, the other one would be to put new floors down in the house. We have carpet in here, and it's, I mean, it's old. It's like the house was built in 99, and it's the original carpet, so it's got some miles on it. And then the other one would be to remodel the master bathroom. So those would be the three. Easy. <laughs> what is your favorite baby name that you never used? I really liked the name Harper for a girl, and I really liked the name Ollie for a boy. I know they're not traditional names, but I really, really liked those names. What is your favorite store to shop in? Target. Duh. <laughs> what did you do before you became a mom? Um, I worked full-time for a company that did background screening um, for other companies. So we did background checks. So like when you went and applied for a job and you signed an authorization to release information, I was the person that went and pulled all your information. <laughs> um, and then other than that, I did whatever I wanted to because I didn't have a child to answer to. <laughs> so... What is your favorite hobby? I don't really have a lot of hobbies. I mean, I don't consider this a hobby, but this is definitely one of my faves. Um, I used to really enjoy reading. I haven't read a book in forever. Um, I have one book that I've been trying to finish for like two years. So reading was my fave. 
If you could spend a day doing whatever you wanted, what would you do? A whole day. I might go do like a mani-pedi, probably go have some lunch, probably sushi. Um, maybe watch some TV, relax, read that book that I've been trying to finish for like the last nine years. <laughs> Uh, how did you meet your husband? Um, I met my husband because we were neighbors. Both of us had recently gotten out of long relationships, and so I moved back in with my parents. Uh, my parents were renting a house while they were building their house. So I moved in with them, um, and he was the neighbor. We met on the front porch, just kind of it was a community space. He was renting um, an apartment in the house that my parents were renting as well. And yeah, we just met, and it wasn't love at first sight. But the more I got to know him, I was like, this guy is kind of awesome. And it was hard because like we had both, like I said, we had both gotten out of long relationships. So I don't think either one of us really thought about being in a relationship. So truth be told, it didn't start out that way. Um, it just started out as two lonely people getting to know each other. <laughs> I'll let you just use your imagination. Um, and then he moved back to California actually and I went and visited him probably like three months after he left and we just kind of realized that you know what started out as something casual really actually was something much bigger like much bigger. Um, and then he ended up moving back to Kansas and we've been together ever since. So that was like 11 years ago. <laughs> what was your favorite family vacation recently or when you were a kid? Um, we didn't really go on a lot of vacations when I was a kid. My Nana took me and my brother to Silver Dollar City one time. That's this little like a uh, theme park kind of thing in Missouri. And I loved it. Loved it. Um, then recently, I mean, other than the attack that my son got by the dog, we went to California in June, and that was actually, minus that, was a good vacation. Um, we went really to a lot of really fun places. Um, side note, actually, a uh, little tidbit, there is a national park very close to where my husband's from. It's like 20 minutes from his house, um, and it's just big sequoia trees, redwoods, amazing trees. Unfortunately, one of the most popular trees in that forest fell the other day. Um, it actually fell yesterday. And we are just so, so sad. Like it is just, it's one of those things like you go to this park and you see these trees and even though you've seen them like a lot, it's still just awesome. And this was one of those trees that had been hollowed out. You know, cars used to drive through them back in the day. Um, they don't allow people to drive through that portion of the park anymore. It's just a trail that you can walk through. And unfortunately, that tree is no more. It fell yesterday. And I'm just really sad. Really, really sad about that. But we love going there anyways and walking the trail. And we took Ryder. So Ryder has pictures with that tree. So I'm just really glad that we got to do that. I mean, even though he's not going to remember it, I'm still glad we got pictures with it. So uh, let's see here. Name three things you do well. Clean. <laughs> um, I feel like I listen really well for people. And... This is hard. Three things you do well. Clean, listen. I'm really stumped, sorry. And try and be a positive role model for my child. Does that count? <laughs> it has to count because that's what I got. <laughs> mm, name three toiletries or makeup items you could not live without. Mascara, deodorant, and BB cream. BB cream or an eyelash or an eyebrow brush. I love my eyebrows and I'm not gonna lie, I brush them like up to kind of shape them. I don't really tweeze my eyebrows, but I definitely fluff them. <laughs> what, or name your favorite thing about each of your children. I have one child and I love everything about him. I love his sweet little voice. I love when he wants you to read to him. I love when he wants to cuddle. I am one of those moms. Like, I love everything about my kid. Even when he's being a complete and total asshole, I love everything about him. <laughs> so, 
What was your first job? Um, my very first job, I was a cashier at a restaurant called Schlotzky's. They make sandwiches and salads and pastas and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that was my first job. I was 16. Um, I worked there probably like one year, not very long at all. <laughs> so I really, I mean, it was a good stepping stone. That's for sure. <laughs> what are your hidden talents? I... I think I sing really well. However, I only sing in my car. Um, so we'll just consider that a hidden talent that I'm not going to share with you guys. <laughs> um, but that's really about it. I don't really feel like I have many hidden talents. I'm kind of an open book. Uh, how long did you date your husband before you got engaged? We dated for four years before we got engaged. So healthy little amount of time. What are your top three favorite TV shows? I really like the show called Alone. It's on the History Channel. Um, it's a crazy show about survivalists surviving, well, survivalists trying to compete against each other. Um, right now they're in Patagonia. It's amazing. Um, my other favorite show, we just really got into this show called Dirk Gently's um, Holistic Detective Agency, I think is what it was called. So we just actually finished watching uh, season one and we actually really liked it. It was weird, 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 but we loved it. Uh, third favorite TV show, I really like oh, Guilty Pleasure. I really like like the Real Housewives shows on Bravo. So right now I'm watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Can't help myself. They're hot messes and I enjoy watching their messes unfold right before my eyes. <laughs> what is the bravest thing you've ever done? I'm a weenie. Bravest thing i ever done. I've ever done. I gave birth. I was pretty brave because that shit's scary. Um, gosh, I feel like I've done something that I should be like, la 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 la. Um, I'm kind of claustrophobic. I went in a cave once, like when we were in uh, Missouri to go to Silver Dollar City. I was freaking out, but once I did it, I was so glad I did it. Um, so I'd say those two probably. I am going on a trip in March, um, and I think I'm going to try and go zip lining. So that will be the bravest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Where were you three hours ago? What time is it? It's 1.27. Three hours ago, I was at the gym. I was either tanning or taking a shower. <laughs> those were the two. Um, what is one thing on your winter bucket list for winter to be over? I'm not a big fan of winter. Um, I don't go tromping around. I don't care for it. It's not my thing. I'm actually pretty ready for winter to be over. Do you meal plan? What is one weekly staple? I actually just started meal planning and I enjoy it because I'm not... I don't really like to cook. It's not like a passion of mine. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good at it, but it just still isn't something that I'm like, ooh, cooking. <laughs> um, so yes, we have started weekly meal plans and I really, really enjoy it. Um, my staple, hmm, I would say tuna casserole. We might not have it weekly, but I would definitely say we have it monthly. I make a killer tuna casserole, people. Like, no bragging or whatever, but check. I kill it. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, an actress. I always thought that would be so cool. I thought being an actress was like the most amazing thing. Or a singer, like a performer of some kind. I really wanted to do that. Would you rather travel 50 years into the future or 50 years into the past? I would probably say 50 years into the future. I would be really curious. I mean, I'm not going to be alive in 50 years probably. If I am alive, I'll be 85. So I might see myself in 50 years. I'd like to see what my son's life is like in 50 years. You know, what he's done for himself. Um, you know, I think that would be really, really cool. I think it'd be awesome. What is the, or what has been your best ever Halloween costume? I don't care for Halloween. I don't like dressing up. Um, 
I would have to say though, my son's best costume. Man, I can't even decide. Like this last year, he was Draco Malfoy because we do group costumes with a couple other friends. Um, so he was Draco. The year before that, he was the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. And the year before that, he was Yoda. I can't even. Don't even ask me to pick because seriously, they were all so cute. I kill it. Like I hate dressing up, but I love dressing my child up and he looks adorable. Um, night Owl or Early Bird? Night Owl, unfortunately. If you're having guests over, what is your go-to dish to serve? Tuna casserole. <laughs> if they don't like that, um, probably like goulash, like a big pasta dish. I like to do that too. Something hearty that can go a long way. Are you messy, neat, or somewhere in the middle? I feel like I'm pretty neat. Um, in my own personal space, like my office, it's messy, but the rest of my house I like to keep clean. Most definitely. What is one thing you desperately need to do but have been putting off? I would say working out. Like, and I just started doing that today. So that is something like I definitely need to get into. I definitely need to get motivated into work. Um, so the, I would say those are the two things. Working out and actually just putting my mind to the grindstone and getting some work accomplished. And then name five YouTube moms you think everyone should be watching. Oh man, I should have read these questions before I did this. <laughs> um, I can't think of their names off the top of my head, but there's this one Southern lady. Oh my Lord. She is so funny. I adore her. Um, so I'll be putting her down below. Um, my friend Krista, my friend Nicole, those girls are definitely two you should be checking out. Um, Lemonade Mom is definitely someone that's great. You should check her out too. She does some fun things. And then... There's one other lady whose name has just like escaped me. She's actually a new mom. Um, she has the cutest, cutest little baby. I will also be putting her stuff down below so you can check those five ladies out. Um, and then as always, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. I love, love, love that you watch my channel. I love, love, love that you think that I'm entertaining. <laughs> um, and then again, please email me, leave comments below for my Q&A next week. I cannot wait to do that with you guys. It's going to be so much fun. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I will talk to you soon. Bye.